Norwich City, a team that is really under threat of becoming a yo-yo club. The team's gone from the Premier League to the Championship, more than I've had hot dinners, and now they've been leapfrogged by their rivals in the second tier. This cannot stand, as we've got David Wagner, Klopp's friend. Oh, friend! in charge and we're going to see how it goes down with a 22 million budget i am very excited for this rebuild and do you guys want kits like this one this one or even this one if you do make sure to check out soccer deal shop link in the description cheap and affordable replica kits and if you use mws in the promo code checkout you get yourselves 10 percent off as this is the team that we've been gifted here now looking at it straight away i know adam Eda has left the club pretty sure he's got a loan deal somewhere else but we have josh Sargent, and we have some planning to do to change this team around and make it the best. As this is the squad that I've managed to make, yes, I am going to do it. I'm going to stick with the formation, but I know players have to change. For me, it's a centre-back needed, a left-footed centre-back, and I wouldn't mind another midfielder to go in CDM. We know we should have the money, and we do have the quality already. I mean, look at Christian Fashnat, an incredible Swiss player, 29-year-old, 76 rated, He's going to be our man. As after contracts, the budget is 16 million. It's gone down when I converted it to pounds from euros. So it was 18 million. Now 16 million. Still enough to operate with. As academy wise. Now, let's just stop for a minute. Have you ever in your life seen an academy as bad as this one? I know we're in the championship. We don't have a five star scout. But no one over the rating of 50 is genuinely criminal as let's get some players that actually are a rating two step into our first team first one goes by the name of Revoje Somolishic. I can't say that. But what I can say is the 72 rated left footed 21 year old defender will fit into that defense very nicely alongside Jay Duffy. As the next one as well, we've got our midfielder. He won't be in the team just yet. As our number 13, hopefully lucky for us, is Maximiliano Gonzalez. Now this man's stats look very good on paper, but of course, We've got to let him grow into our centre mid. As that's two positions down, and we've not really spent much. So guess what? We'll spend the rest. As you just got a glimpse there, we've signed a backup striker in Marko Milovanovic. Sorry to Ashley Barnes, but he goes on the bench as Gonzalez isn't even on that bench. He is new, but he's going to have to wait his turn. And maybe like Liam Gibbs, get a loan deal. As we've got plenty of these players on this list right here. The likes of Adam Eder out for loan. Daniel Baden, Liam Gibbs, like I just said, and we want to get rid of them. And here we go. We've got Gibbs out. He's gone to meet Henderson at Ajax and Eder's out as well. As our first game of the season is the battle of the German managers. Danny Roll versus David Wagner. We've still got plenty of money left in our budget. And if we don't beat that team, questions must be asked. As also, questions must be asked about David Wagner. Is he American or is he German? Gonna say it's German just for this battle as he beats. The fellow won in the league. 3 2 at Hillsborough. Jeff Hendrick with goals. Fashion up for us. And Sergeant, who's gonna be important. And halfway through, I wanna test that thesis. Is he top scorer? Let's have a check, because let's check ratings. There is a lot of good ones in this squad. As yes, I was correct. Top scorer, Josh Sargent. Still only 23 years of age. And Sarah, another very good prospect. Them two up there for goal scoring, as their goal scoring's only got eighth place. Not the best, I can't lie to you. Three points off the playoffs, but... Let's check the money scenario right after the Cups. As we're still in the FA Cup, we've got the Cobblers at Carrow Road. As in the Carabao out in round one to Preston. I mean, it's a distraction off our mind. Not too bothered about that at the start of the season. As we've got £10 million to spend. That is more than I thought. And honestly... We need to save our playoff push. As one thing that could save us though, and I've just seen it when I look at the loan players. We will go out and sign, but look at Gonzalez on loan at Botcham. 70 rated, 19 year old. It would be a shame not to recall him and have him in this Norwich squad as we battle to save our season. As in terms of transfers, back to the subject. We're bringing one player in and no, he has got a square face, but that is not in fact... Will any? We've signed Flavius from the Italian League and he 
is a younger Shane Duffy. I wanted quite like for like, and there we go. We brought it in. So to the end of the season we go. As please let it be. Yes, it is. It is a playoff position. Now, how's this going to go down? Leicester City. After we just snuck in the playoffs by two points. Also knocked out the FA Cup by Arsenal, as that is the team that we have on paper. Surprise, Leicester didn't get automatics. As looking at our lads, some unhappy faces in there. But I'm happy. As even if we don't go up this season, I know we should have done. With the money, I still feel confident for next year as first game is a 2-2 draw. We're still in this. Just need to go and win at the King Power as we do it with 10 men. Kenny McLean sent off and sorry to the man, it's probably his last season. And Josh Sargent with the goal who could be vital in making and staying in the Premier League. As it's a weird one as well. We've got Cardiff who I've not seen in the playoffs. Will be an interesting game. And we're going to go straight into it. It's probably Gonzalez playing in the final as Sargent. He has scored and he has done it for the Canaries. Josh Sargent, the American beast. As we will see him next season in the top division of English football. And remember at the start when I said something about a yo-yo effect? This is when we get rid of it. We have to stay in the Premier League with a hefty budget. 53 million pounds. Now we'll get our scout and then we'll get our players as we rearrange the squad due to all these loan deals finishing. Wow! We seriously had some players out on loan. As you can see, Solis comes into the team and that's about it. Apart from the fullbacks and midfielders, I want to sign. That is what I want to get in. However, we've got a problem this year at the squad. And no, it's not the ratings. They're pretty fine. I trust we'll stay up. It's the contracts that are doing my head in. Adam Forshaw, I didn't play last season. But retiring. Hanley retiring. Barnes retiring as well. And I believe Shane Duffy the same. That's money we can't make. Because I've tried to transfer list them. Of course, they're not going to sell. But we've got a lot of loan deals to get out yet again. As the first player, sorry to Gianluigi, or whatever his name is, the Greek, as he's the first replacement, and with a statement of intent, we've gone and got Ian Matson from Milan. A very capable left back. Yes, he likes the left wing back role, but he's staying back and getting forward. As speaking of moving forward, we need some players in this academy. Believe it or not, we've added to our roster, but still... 52 rated is the highest as the next player as well. It's a rebuild of a career mission for us. As Wagner, or Wagner, has used his American links to get Ricky Pui. Ex-Barcelona midfielder will just step ahead of Gonzalez just for maybe the first season. And hey, Gonzalez might join at the side of it. Depends how it goes, as actually I thought the weakest position would be defence, but Solis is the weakest, 73 rated. We should have just a little bit more money. As we've been savvy again, we actually had 22 million, so we'd give this guy a hefty wage to also come from America. Welcome to the club, yet another Argentinian. For 18 million, Alan Velasco, and he should be our tricky winger. Now I've scouted, I've budgeted, I've tried my hardest to make a team that stands a chance at Premier League survival with some good signings in there. And I'll tell you what, it's a young squad now. Yes, you can see a lot of old players there, but when we flip it round, we've signed a couple of good youngsters. Here they are, 23, 22. It's good for the future. As the future is now in terms of Premier League football, Arsenal first. Like I said, but didn't show you. We played these in the FA Cup last year. And that team right there absolutely hammered us. But to be fair, I don't think they just had a keeper. Angus Gunn get the better of them. And we do score goals, but we still lose. As let's just give the rest of them a chance. Progression will happen, hopefully in ratings and league position. And the aim for this season, like I said, survival. And I'm going to play a guessing game. Do we think we're surviving with 19 points so far? I'm not going to click on the table just yet. I'm going to look at the team and evaluate. Now, if you ask me, that team is definitely strong enough to stay up. No 80 rated in the team yet, but a couple of 79s. One being Alan Velasco, the new signing. He's going to be special. As goal scoring so far, it's actually the oldie that's doing it. Chris 
Christian Fashnat. Well done to him, as we'll check the table finally, and uh, it is surviving, but only just. It's Leeds, Brighton, and Southampton down there, and they've got games in hand, but we have that four-point gap. I'm just praying we survive as the Chelsea games in the cup as well. I think we've got them in the league. Because it showed the points. Must have them in the league and have them in the cup. As guess what? They knocked us out of the cup in the Carabao. Blimey, Chelsea. Leave us alone as we've got three million. So we're going to be left alone in terms of bringing players in. As I'm going to check the academy before we get going. And I can't believe how bad this is. Are we actually going to get a player in this entire save? Warren, guys. That is the finish you want. Just like our last save we did, we finished 10th. In the first season in the Premier League, it's always down low. And then once your ratings just skyrocket up, your position does as well. We were completely safe. 48 points, 29 Southampton went down on. Then Leeds and Brighton, they'll have some good players. As we've got to focus on ourselves. And we lost in the FA Cup quarters. They win that one. As looking at the team, you can see 80 rated are starting to shine. That's how we finished so high. Look at this. Josh Sargent, Ian Matson, Ricky Pui. Also Velasco on that list who shot up to second highest in scoring with Sargent, but Fashna in first. Now that's a surprise to me. I was thinking about selling him next season and of course we've got Gonzalez on the bench. Also Milovanovic who's sat on that bench still and yes we need bench players and a lot, lot more. Yeah, and speaking of getting a better squad, I mean, it's good, but wait till you see the budget. Yes, we've done contracts, and we've got a scout, but 28 million for a second season in the Prem. I will tell you, that is not great going at all. We're going to be scraping it for a right back and a goalkeeper, but to be fair... We could sell both positions. Also, we have the return of a good player. Borja Sainz was on loan at Getafe. Now he's back with a vengeance. 67 rated. Gonzalez is good. Tuzolis, all for the bench. Or they could be sold as... I, I give up with this academy. It's terrible once again. Yes, I'm only getting like two players a go. But it's because they're all dreadful. It's not a good scout, but we bloody can't afford a better one. As we're too busy putting it all into one player. Now I'm going to sell Angus Gunn as we have found his replacement. Welcome, Mo. Oh, oh, wait, Angus Gunn's gone already. That was easy. As welcome his replacement, Alexandra Nubel from Bayern Munich. And our final signing. Here we go. We've managed to get that right back in. Welcome to the club, Dodo. He isn't an extinct one, as hopefully he finds some wings to fly us up the league. As this is the team we have. Solid bench, solid starting 11 with... A couple of weak players and that's about it. And I am very excited about this season. If we could get some results, then first three games look winnable. I was going to say four, but I don't fancy Arsenal. So let's use these signings with the first game, of course, being at Selhurst Park. Not going to be easy, but we come out there with a 2-1. Gabriel Sara, Sergeant and Dodo actually with a red card. So with 10 men, we prevail as we need to be above 10th to prevail this season. Yeah, I'm hoping it's above 10th. That would be improvement as the team is definitely improving right now. One player below the rating of 80 and that is Danny Luik at right centre back. Definitely said his name wrong as looking at the bench as well. We have got incredible players. Our youngsters on there even growing in rating. As you can see, our best players are Matson and Sargent. He's one of them top scorer. Yes, Josh Sargent. I mean, I wouldn't have expected Matson and Fashna again, just defying the odds of age. He is brilliant. But has he got us up the table? Let's have a look because we know we've got no money and it's fifth position for the Canaries. Now, I know it says joint on points with Liverpool. That's good. But honestly, at this moment in time, I would take Europa League football. Because I honestly feel like we may stand a chance at winning that as the FA Cup. We've got Blackpool. You never know what could happen there. Anything happen in the Carabao? Nope, we're not in the semis. We're not in the round of 16. We crashed out long ago. So we're not going to care about that. As we do have 6 million. That is more than I thought. But still, nothing to spend it on. And come end, I don't care if the squad hasn't gone up in rating. Just make sure we stayed up there as we have. Only 7 defeats and 11 draws in a Premier League season. One point off UCL football. 
But like I said, I will take Europa League all day long. Brilliant for development. As we didn't win the FA Cup. Don't know why I'm so disappointed. As we lost to Spurs 1-0. I mean, we'll get a big budget anyway next season, hopefully. Signing players next year is up there on priority. As this team already, though isn't half bad. I mean, look at the rating of Noble, a really good goalkeeper, and Dodo, two 80 rated that have both grown to 83. Unfortunately for us, I mean, it's fast not on the way down, so if we could get money for him next year, get a right mid as well. I think we'll be sorted as goal scoring. Yep, he did fall off, and he let Velasco once again take over, and Josh Sargent with 25 goals. So, season number... What is this for? Season number four, and we need to get cooking. We know the replacement. Fashnat's going out, as coming into the club is richness. 94 mil. That's with contract signed. And of course, a lot of players here, which we do want to move on some. Then reserve type, as I'm going to step up my scout, replace all these players with youngsters, and then we should be good to go. As here's the academy, and finally, finally, we've got George Lee, a player that we can use. Or not use, but just promote. So we'll get him signed up. Luca Potts as well. I'm in a giving mood. Contract giving move. As of course it goes without saying, I'm gonna give contracts out to first team players. And I have two in mind to rattle off the bat straight away. And I was thinking about maybe loan deals, but I'm actually gonna keep the youth here as we've got our first signing. I'm gonna wait till Fashnat goes out to of course buy his replacement, get a bit of extra money for him as 43 million on Kevin Danzo. And not to cause tension in the Austrian national team camp because he is literally replacing Danulic, who should be his partner. As I think this second signing's a little bit more exciting. You look at Josh Sargent, the American American, all alone. So we're going to bring in a friend for him. And of course it is that man. He's been in the Prem before. Christian Pulisic. As we've had to go to Milan and dish out the money for him. As we can see, left wing by trade. But of course we're going to get him as a right mid. Signed before Fashnat goes out. But it shouldn't be long. As there he goes. Now it's just training Pulisic as a right mid. Which it says should take just... A handful of weeks. And there he goes. Right midfielder already. That was easier than expected. And that team to create was not easy. But we're going to run with it into this season, of course. As the first game. Leicester City. Now, I don't know if they were down. I mean, they're becoming a yo-yo team in this save. Seeing them in the Prem with us, they're not. As it's going to be a opening day win. Gabriel Sara with the brace and Sargent. Hopefully that reflects as well. In the Europa League, as you can see, not an easy group by any stretch of the imagination. Do I think that's difficult? Yes. But do I think we should win? Win it? Also, yes. Right, and halfway through this next season, I hope we've built on as we have done by one position. I believe this time last year we were joint on points with the team in fourth. Now, we're the team in fourth, one point ahead. Sneaky business. Of course, we're on a Europa League front, so overall it's good. Still as well in the FA Cup with Bristol City coming to Carra Road for an interesting tie. Interesting tie, because we've got to live up to our rival Zipswitch, who were in the semi-finals of the Carabao. Still, we shouldn't feel too jealous, as are they in the Europa League next round. No, they're not. Get in there, as look at our team as well. It is... It is safe to say it's doing the business. Smolacic looking a bit unhappy. To be fair, there's quite a few players unhappy. I don't know the reasoning behind it, but you can see our best player still Josh Sargent. Still a surprise to me as Christian Pulisic though. Ah, USA players doing a job. Doing it for Wagner as you can see as well. They are both not shy of inputting goals. As before we see the team, let's see our run in Europe. You can see we beat Leverkusen 4-1 in one game. That was a huge win. We beat Wolfsburg the same scoreline and Fiorentina beaten. That is really good, but I've just realized who we'll face. And yep, PSG in the final. PSG, and if you think that wasn't worse enough, we are not getting Champions League football through the league. That puts all the pressure on this game as I don't know where we finished in the FA Cup. We didn't win it. As thankfully as well, the rivals didn't win the Carabao. All a bit of a weird season if you ask me because 
We've left it to the final game, which is a must win. And I mean, the ratings are all right, of course. Like you just saw Josh Sargent, his potential just loves to skyrocket. Matson the same, Nuble the same, even though he's 30. Dodo, I mean, we've got a good centre back and we've got a good goal scoring duo in Josh Sargent and Sarah both in double digits. Of course, it's all relative though. We've been playing the Premier League with a decent finish, but PSG, to finish the season off with, this is gonna be so tricky. Come on, Champions League football, Champions League football somehow. Norwich City have done it. Rebuilds once you've done the press conference never fail to amaze as Pulisic scored first, Kylian Mbappe, then Borja signs, Kylian Mbappe again, and Sarah with the goal to send us into the UCL and hopefully better league position next year, more money, and could we even sign Mbappe himself? And our next challenge, dethroning Barcelona from the big one. The Champions League trophy, that's what we want. Here with Norwich City, as that is the first team. But also, we want to check the reserves. We didn't get the best out of Lee, who I did loan out last year. I believe it was to Plymouth. Yeah, not the best, as we've got contracts to sign. I saw definitely, we definitely need to sign sergeants. As rating-wise, the weakest position sent to back again and I don't really want to sign one. But desperate times call for desperate needs and Champions League football with 122 million probably requires a new centre half after all we want to do well. And now we're in Champions League football we're not going to be signing a youth academy scout because we're not going to get the best out of them. And we found a replacement centre half so yes we've done our scouting we've gone ahead and got a world beater of course a rival of Barcelona that's just won the UCL. To try and help us out, Eder Militao for only 87 million. That's quite a steal. We still have 25 million, which will probably strengthen the bench. And we can sell Danny Luke if we really need to now. And that's what I've gone ahead and done. He's going to sit us back up at Liverpool as we want some backup for ourselves. As let's quick fire these. The first one, left back Mats Kolhert. From Helen Venen. Is that how it's announced? I know a lot of you guys are asking for it as Javier Puado is the next one in. And the final one, backup goalkeeper Eek Jung, who's come across from Leeds. As there we go, a stronger bench with players that play everywhere, and that team is ready for the Premier League. But before we play Forest, it is worth noting we beat Barcelona in the Super Cup. Of course, I don't count that. And the Community Shield as trophies as please. I want the Premier League as one. An opening day win, Gabriel Sara, he just seems like a goal scoring machine. And we could use him. We could especially use him in the Champions League where we have a group with Leipzig, Salzburg, Lech Poznan, basically Red Bull with an extra team. And I'm sorry any Norwich fans if this sounds disrespectful, but have you seen a better squad in your life? I mean, look at this. It is sensational. I'm gonna count the 90 rateds in the squad hub. As look at this, Ed Emiletau leading the way, of course. Our new signing, you expect it. But two originals in Gabriel Sara and Josh Sargent, both over 90. And if we're not top of this Premier League, which we are, I would have been upset. But the Canaries on top. Unlike Dodo, of course, they have flown to the top with their wings as we've got Wigan in the FA Cup. Hopefully, maybe some good competition in that. We need to do better overall, as in the Carabao beaten in the round of 16 by Burnley. Yep, they're a championship team, and I'm not happy with that, as I want to check goal scorers, of course. We've got Josh Sargent and Gabriel Sarra, who sits just behind them. Oh, and the Champions League. How could I almost forget, as it is a yellow derby, the yellow submarine against the yellow canary birds. We topped the group, of course we did, with zero defeats and Leipzig second. It's what you really expect. I was gonna say a Red Bull team will go through and I mean, Lech Poznan could have done it. They picked up three draws. As anyway, full focus onto BVB and that team, I think we should be beating. Adeyemi a good player, but we've got better. But to be fair, they've drawn with 10 men and we had to rely on Milovanovic scoring from the bench Come on, lads, show a bit more oomph. Seems like Nunes, our captain's rating's going down as well, but our team have done it. And I am so thankful. I am so thankful, because when you look at the next round draw, 
you probably say we've got the best case scenario. Galatasaray, I recognize a few names, but come on lads, let's not underestimate them still though. Go out there and kill it off game number one as no, again, a first leg draw. Not the ideal scenario, having to go to Turkey and I tell you what, We've just squeezed through. And I don't believe how lucky we're getting. It looks like PSG in a final again, if we can beat Leipzig again. We shouldn't struggle against the team we've already beat twice. And there we have it, a 2-0 lead in Germany. An ex-German league player as well getting the goal in Sargent and Sarah as Puig suspended for this leg. Still, I don't fear it as we're gonna auto-replace him. And there we go, Norwich City into the final. As it seems like that wasn't our only final though. Cause when you look at the FA Cup trophy, number one in the bag for Norwich City, this season is the FA Cup. Nice little win, as is the Carabao joining it. West Ham, well done against Spurs in the final. Of course, I remember now, we were beaten in that, but not beaten in the Premier League as Norwich City topped that over City by three points. Trophy number two in the bag for Norwich City. I mean, our team is good enough. It really is. Yes, it will be AC that we faced and a little Istanbul there in the semi-finals. Let's make sure it doesn't happen in the final. They would have loved that as I'm not checking goal scorers because this team we know on paper already has enough quality to get a goal from anyone. Honestly, the best team we've maybe ever built. I mean, it's all down to this really, isn't it? I don't know where we're playing. I'm guessing it can't be at the San Siro. But Liao right there in AC Milan colours as this is going to be difficult, despite how good we are. We really have to try hard here. Our lowest rated player in the team, of course, Nunes, our captain. Keep forgetting as well that Polar Six on the right hand side is a free kick early on for Milan and it is just wide. Chuck Aweze, more like chuck it wide. <laughs> now Ricky Puig go through the middle, actually get us out of our half. A little bit of a tricky start this one. I'll tell you that for free. 15 minutes in. And Milan should have two. Wow, this is difficult. I honestly didn't expect this, but maybe a breakaway here through Sargent. We've got it out wide into Velasco. There's a run in the middle there. It's Gabriel Sara, I believe. Looks like the man didn't want to head at the ball. Though, and Chuck Aweze doesn't take him two chances, does it? Yeah, a good header. A good header from the Milan winger. And I tell you what, we have been dreadful. Right, Norwich, just like when relegated from the Premier League, we've got to become the yo-yo and bounce back up. As Ian Matson, let's get the goal early, shall we, please? Velasco going around and we've forced a corner. Why does it take going behind, though, to actually wake up as Christian Pulisic with the shot on? Getting into decent positions, but not pulling the trigger as can we do it now? Sarah into side. Sergeant. Josh Sargent tries to squeeze it in, but a brilliant save, which sees them lead at halftime. As it's not great, it's really not great, Christian Pulisic, though. Can he arrive in this game? Yes, he's had one of the only shots, but here comes Chukwueze again. We need to use him more. Come on, here we go. Pulisic again with a second opportunity, and this one, I'm liking this run better. Lost a corner on the hour mark as Velasco. We need to get that round the corner. This is into Nunes, the Chilean captain. That's a better shot this time. Just a goal. Just a goal needed as edge of the box. It's into our centre-back. It's a good run as well from him and it's a goal. Oh my days. How has he squeezed that one in? Smolkic, is that how you say his name? I don't know, but I don't care as long as he's scoring them. A fantastic run, of course. He came up for the corner and then just took on literally everyone to put it in. Great goal, but now we've got to switch on a bit because, yep, yeah, of course, they're going to run at us after that. I hate that we just can't stay in the lead with momentum. I, I don't understand it. Brian Bobby has just landed that in the top corner after all our hard work, after everything. Got to go again. 15 minutes of this game left. Nunes drag us back into this one. Gabriel Sarah, to be fair, he's got around the side and Sarah, can he just tap that in the middle? It is Nunes. There we go. There we go. There's a goal back straight away. It's 2-2. Definitely not a 2-2 game this one, but I tell you what, City not giving up. Now all we need is one more goal and for the love of God, lads, don't go behind. Don't play stupid like this. I don't understand how Brian Bobby is just every place a striker shouldn't be allowed. Oh my days, I can't take it anymore. I honestly can't. 
I'm gonna combust. Now we've gotta go again, Josh Sargent. You've been invisible in this game, my friend. Christian Pulisic hasn't, especially this second half as he's running at his man. Pulisic into Gabriel Sara. Can he pass that on to Josh Sargent? Just an inch away. Just keep this alive though, Ricky Puig. Josh Sargent, that's a good run. That's better from the striker. Cut inside, Josh Sargent. What a save. What a save. Mike Meigen's done it. He may have won Milan, the Champions League. Still, we're going to give this a push. Gabriel Sarra into Smoldick, the defender again. He's still all over the place. How are we not scoring that? Oh, my days. This is the most intense finale I think we've ever had. As Marcelino Nunes, we need to try and find an angle. It's Velasco. He stayed on side. Velasco, the winger, the tricky Argentinian. Look at this. Running in circles. And he's done it in the eighth minute when there is only two added on. Now, this is the craziest finale we have simply ever had on this channel oh my god i don't know how to react i'm absolutely stunned this finale may be longer than the entire rebuild process as that is it extra time what a fight what a finale and he's still not over see and matson's still up front from when we went ultra attacking he needs to find a ball that's into velasco tries to get around his man is that handball it's given a chance to lead for once. This is a big opportunity. Pobega. I mean, don't stick your arm out. It was obvious. And it was a penalty as Josh Sargent. He's been invisible all game. But he's not invisible at taking penalties. Slammed in the top bin. Just what we needed to start extra time as Brian Bobby. Someone just absolutely clatter. Clatter him. Just get rid of him because he can't score again. He was making a move. It's a good block and that's it. Half time in extra time. And if we're not careful here, it could be another one. Brian Bobby, Teo Hernandez, Brian Bobby again, get in the way of his shot. Thank you, Noble, or Noble, whatever your name is, at least you're trying to stop it. Another corner again, though, and that is better. That's the best thing that Sargent's done all game. And Pulisic, Christian Pulisic against his former club, is going to run inside here. It's Christian Pulisic in the last minute of added time, and there he... he um... Uh, have we won? Is the game over? Yes, the game is over. Oh my days. Play the exciting music, not the embarrassing one. As Christian Pulisic misses a big chance, but it doesn't matter anyway, because Norwich City have done the treble. Ending with the UCM. And there is the trophy. It will be Marcelino Nunez. I'm going to try and make the captain one of the OGs of the team. Of course, that's if they still exist and we don't replace them as there we go. The Chilean lifts it high in the sky. The third time he's done this this season. As if you do want a season or a few seasons with your favourite team, comment it down below. And I will try to get round to it at some point.